Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing your weekend message for Saturday and Sunday the 4th and 5th of December. I hope you've had a great week and that you're doing well. These are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody, so just take what applies to your situation directly and discard the rest. If the message doesn't resonate, then it's just not the message for you today. So let's see what energies we have for the weekend of the 4th and 5th of December. For my lovely watchers. So the first card we get is card number 43 and it's talking about setting up parameters. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. Okay. And then a second message from the Messages of the Mermaids Oracle. And you get ask for help. Okay, so this is to do with your relationships and you probably questioning your relationships um, because something happened or you're having doubts, you're just looking at your relationships. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Okay, I'll take it. This came out. That will be at the center of your spread. The Emperor. They're all jumping. Okay, crossed by the Ten of Cups. And below you, Four of Cups, above you, Nine of Wands, behind you, the Four of Pentacles, ahead of you, Death, Advice, King of Cups, Environment, the Sun, wow, that's the best card in the deck. Hopes and fears, the Eight of Swords. Final outcome, the Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy underlining behind the scenes that you don't know are working for you, is the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So at the center of the spread is the Emperor, and I believe this is you. Uh, this is a major arcana, and obviously it's male or female, it's a general reading. Um, I don't attach genders to my cards for general readings. And the Emperor is number four, which is strong foundations and um, stability. So he rules over all of the number four of the other suits. And he is the leader who prepares step by step in order to lead his troops to success. He is someone who's incredibly stable, incredibly focused and very powerful, but someone who plans ahead. 
and so I believe this is you at the moment and you have goals that you're trying to reach whether they're for your career or just your life in general speaking and you're looking at your life and you're preparing and crossing you is the ten of cups sorry my dog's itching the ten is the number of completion so in the world of feelings emotions it's um, the happy ever card kind of thing you know that ultimate happiness and so I believe um, that you're looking at a uh, relationship that you're currently in and you're assessing whether this relationship is actually you know supporting you in your life and in your goals and what you've got ahead of you because yeah, it's crossing you at the moment so this very steady and stable relationship long-term relationship is kind of getting in the way is what I'm getting um, it's stopping you from you know taking the next step and achieving your goals or maybe slowing you down and you're wondering why this is so you're looking at this because this is at the center of your spread in the near past you have the four of pentacles and as I just said four is the number of the emperor it's the number of strong foundations and stability and the coins or pentacles are to do with your physical world so your house your workplace um, job careers this is showing that um, you you were stable you have solid assets or solid career solid job um, you know financially speaking you you you're on um, on, on good stable ground that was in the near past now in your aspirations near goals near future kind of thing you've got the nine of wands now nine is a number of achievement I don't know if it's focusing is it focusing yeah nine is a number of achievements and the ones are to do with passion and desires it's fire energy you know what really um, ignites you and um, the nine of wands represents you know having worked hard at something being tired but continuing you know despite the challenges you know just keeping up and still doing it so you are feeling the um, you know the, the tiredness of, of all your your preparation in order to reach your goal um, but you know you just one away from having completed this so you're, you're still focused on it and um, working hard in your subconscious mind or your higher self you have the four of cups now the four as I said is your third number four in the reading the Emperor the four of coins and the four of cups here now the four can be obviously strong foundations and so and all of that but in the cup suit we're talking about the water element and if you put water in in a cup and you leave it there it becomes stagnant and stale and sometimes it can represent boredom and this is your higher self thinking about this so as the oracle card said right at the beginning you know you are assessing your relationships um, looking at the um, you know you, you're just evaluating them and looking at them honestly because obviously your higher self is never going to lie to you you know your higher self always works for your uh, for your good and so there is some staleness um, in a relationship um, subconsciously you're aware of it uh, but not consciously because consciously you're working you're you're focusing on on your goals you're you're in the Empress frame of mind you're focusing on on that but in the near future you've got death major arcana your second one and death is the end of something so that something new can be built again so some people call it the phoenix rising card you know just um, well, you know the phoenix dies and then is re re reborn um, so you're gonna get um, some kind of something's gonna end just so that you can give some space for something new and the advice is the king of cups now again it can be male or female now this is the master of the suit of cups and the king of cups is in control of his emotions always is very loving 
um, in touch obviously with his um, intuition but he has the emotional stability to to basically face the, the rough water is very often depicted on this throne with the rough water uh, the throne is floating on rough waters and he's not moved at all because he's in control of his emotions and so you see your subconscious knows um, that the, the relationship that you're looking at right now is getting stale and stagnant and this is a, a long-term committed relationship and the advice is to remain emotionally in control whatever happens because in the near future when something ends and we don't know what that is but when something ends maybe that relationship maybe something else something happens you're going to need to be in control of your emotion so this is what the card is saying but you do not need to worry because in your environment you have the sun this is the most positive card in the whole deck it nullifies any negative aspect that there may be and also in the environment but as I said behind the scene you have the two of pentacles or coins so two is a number of duality polarity relationships and also decisions you know should I go left or right so there is a decision that needs to be made in regards to your physical world so either work or home or, you know house once you've made this decision because it needs to be made it is in the air it will be the right decision because you have the Sun the Sun is joy happiness um, energy warm energy success victory in everything and this is what you've got in your environment so no matter what the end is whether it's the end of a relationship or you know the end of something else as I said this is general reading I don't know what's happening specifically in your life there is a decision that needs to be made whether you're aware of it or not yet or want to accept it because you know sometimes we know what we have to do but we just don't do it because we we fear it there's a decision that needs to be made because in your hopes and fears you have the eight of swords now the eight of swords swords is mental energy and the eight of swords is you having um, erected um, some kind of um, shields and around you um, your defenses are up you, you, if you get my meaning but they, this is all psychological block um, because you you know as I said because there is a decision that's going to need to be made and it's not an easy one it's going to bring about the end of something probably of the relationship and this obviously is you know probably keeping you awake at night and um, you know you just feel like you're not sure what you've got to do um, but you've erected your shields and you're kind of paralyzed you're not moving you're, you're in stopped in your track because you're afraid of this and obviously as the outcome you get the five of pentacles now five is the number of change and challenges and um, the five of pentacles is to do with your um, physical world so obviously once you have the end of something there's going to be changes in your world that's what the cards are saying um, now changes are not necessarily negative people tend to um, see changes as something negative because human beings are not programmed to accept changes but remember ask for help the um, um, card the oracle card right here that said ask for help you have people around you you have the sun in your environment which as I said is warm energy success victory joy you have people around you in your environment that are going to be there to support you during this trying period because it's never easy um, when we look at, our, at a relationship that we've been in for a long time it's never easy to make the decision that needs to be made even though we don't want to face it and um, you're going to need to be very much in control of your emotions in order to navigate this you know death here which is the end of something but it will be for the best for you um, 
you know, obviously energies are not set in stones. Every thought you have, every action you take will have an influence on the energies, but this is what, what it looks like um, at the moment. This is a very um, intense reading for someone out here, but the message is, yes, do look at a very important relationship in your life long term um, and, and assess whether, you know, this is stopping you from reaching your goals in life because there is a decision that needs to be made and you have people around you who will support you and help you through this phase um, and you know look inside and, and because your subconscious knows that you know this relationship is getting stale um, so I, I know it's it's a heavy message I'm sorry about that but this is what I'm reading from the cards obviously you have free will um, you know, do what you will of, of what I'm telling you, but this, this is what I've got for you today. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. I've uploaded my monthly uh, December uh, month uh, tarot cards and I will leave you a, a card here <laughs> so you can check them out if you so wish. Um, I hope you have a very nice weekend, albeit I'm sure you're going to be thinking about this message. But I hope it will be a, um, you know, clarifying weekend and, and that you'll feel energized and, you know, ready to move forward. But do not hesitate to, to ask for help. And if this message has helped you in any ways or has resonated, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope to see you again very soon. And until next time, au revoir.